Deb Cooper with the Canine Chronicle, bringing you a Table Talk Live update with Vicki Silent Cushman, who has been very busy lately with judging all over since our show started up. And one of those shows was the Giant Schnauzer Regional after the National in Brooksville, Florida. So Vicki, as a longtime Giant Schnauzer aficionado, we've all been used to seeing you run those left-handed circles at that at those giant schnauzer specialties and now you were standing center ring and got to give your view of all of those beautiful dogs why don't you tell us about your experience yeah it was glorious i was so thankful first of all that they had me uh there to judge the sh the showgrounds uh was lovely um the club was supposed to have their show with the tampa show and um the club members decided to go off on their own and have an independent specialty at the Brooksville site. And it, it was really, really, really nice. Um, everybody was relaxed and happy. And I'll tell you what, the dogs were beautiful, just beautiful. Um, the camaraderie was lovely. It was very safe. It felt safe. They took our temperatures as we entered the show, which was very nice. Um, so I started out with my dogs, of course, and um, the the dogs were really nice. The and the bitches and the breed, of course. But um, the giant schnauzer breeders are are doing an outstanding job. They. Um, are concentrating on all of the right things. The breed just keeps getting better and better. Um, I So I'm really thankful for that. All of the grooming was spectacular. Just, you know, really giving me a run for my money if I was still showing giant schnauzers. <laughs> but, um, and the coats were 90%, 95% of the coats were lovely. Great. They were harsh to hard which was really nice. Um, the um, Only a few of them had too much hair. You know, I don't like a whole lot of hair. I like for it to be um, trimmed down so that you can see the structure in the body and um, just my own take on it. I don't like a lot of fluff, um, but I do, I, I don't mind. I'm not saying I don't mind, I like furnishings. Mm -hmm. So I like furnishings, I like, um, hard coats with slight furnishing so it doesn't really matter to me as they found out because my uh, best of breed dog was a really lovely dog beautifully presented um he was um just beautifully balanced with a perfect top line uh he moved with as a robust giant schnauzer should. He had a lot of fill in his front. He was nice balanced from um, leg to depth of chest and length of back. A nice a rear end with a good second thigh. The tail was right off of the back at one, probably about one o'clock. Um, he was so muscled. Um, I asked the breeder, I'm like, what are you doing to him? She said she runs him four miles a day, which is what I used to do with my special. So, um, you know, it really shows because as giant schnauzer standards say that they are a robust breed and that's what I like. Um, when he came in the ring, he, he just ran, he came in and he ran around and I, knew when I saw him that he would be uh, in contention and one to beat. So uh, it was a joy to see him and then examine him and have everything still fall into the right places. And that's right, when so you're not it, pleasantly surprised. <laughs> yeah, so it confirmed everything that, that I thought I was seeing when he first came in. Um, my select dog, equally as beautiful, nice long head, half the length of the back, beautiful thigh, beautiful fill in the front, lovely coat. Um, he uh, had a, a, such a gorgeous dark eye and uh, so did my best of breed dog. Um, nice, strong back line. Um, he was robust as well. Uh, he, he really, it was close between the two and um, 
just at the end, the, the go round went to the other dog. And really, I didn't know until the very last minute which one I was going to choose. But um, so that was, you know, really glorious to have those two beautiful dogs. Then um, my winner's bitch uh, came from the open bitch class. She was she was lovely. Um, she moved with purpose as well. Uh, she had a beautiful head, nice dark eye, um, uh, nice short loin, very pretty. Um, it was nice to to have her in the ring, and uh, you know her down and back was was nice and clean, so that was good. And then my winner's dog came from the bread by class, and he was a young dog. I'm not sure that he was even a year old. Oh my god! Um, but uh, he was lovely and um, a really pretty front. You know, he really had a lot of fill and uh, down to the elbow, and and especially at a young age, really carried himself beautifully. Um, I love that dog, and he, you know, had a lot of muzzle too. You know, he was a big, strong, firm dog. Well, not too big but the perfect size, I'll say. And um, really nice thigh too, beautiful rear ends, a nice hawk. Uh, he, he was just, just lovely. And his tail was perfect as well. Um, I really didn't have too many gay tails, maybe two or three. So that was really nice to see because as we know, if you've got this, then the rest of the rear end isn't gonna move so well either because you know, you've got a poorly constructed croup. And um, so it was really nice to see that. Good on you, giant schnauzer breeders. And um, then, you know, I had a lot of other really pretty dogs too, but um, that's the, the, the pretty much the summary. The um, my best of opposite bitch was uh, very flashy. Um, I, I've had her before. She's she's a lovely bitch. Um, she uh, was all girl too, so it was nice to have her. Isn't it great when you have so many lovely dogs and you're not thinking to yourself, "Oh dear, what am I going to do here with this?" Rather, yeah. like I don't have enough ribbons for these beautiful dogs. Yeah, and you know, wherever I go across the country, I find the giant schnauzer competition to be very strong. Terrific. So it's a good time to be in giant schnauzers. Right? Yes. If you had, as someone who exhibited a lot of great giant schnauzers, if you had a couple of pieces of advice for those that are breeding and showing giants now, what would those couple pieces of advice be? Uh, the couple pieces of advice would, um, one, to be cautious of the over-angulated rear ends. Um, that's a, a little concerning. You know, they did remember that, that the, the rear feet should come just a little bit behind the, the, um, the buttocks. So it shouldn't be sweeping out way behind. Huh? Um, because when they move to, they, you know, they're, uh, you know, moving a little sloppy in the rear, it's just way too much. So you, they just remember balance, balance, balance. Right. So that's probably the only thing that I would be concerned about in the breed. So that's really nice. Yeah. Temperaments yeah. were outstanding. The temperaments were outstanding. I had nothing that was shy or um, that even looked as though they would back away from me. So that was fantastic to see too great so sounds like you had a great time i did and how bad could it be to be in florida right. in uh in october yeah it was wonderful fantastic okay vicky well thank you so much and giant schnauzer folks i hope that you enjoyed this um so you know take heed vicky is uh certainly active in her judging and and as someone who you know has groomed them and shown them and cared for them what better of a person to take some advice from so vicky thanks again thank you we'll see you soon thanks deb bye-bye